as you know covid years have been very difficult uh, for almost all machinery suppliers and even for us it was a very challenging year uh, but what happened after covid starting from somewhere uh, mid of 2021 there was a big upswing in the market and probably it happened because of china plus one strategy of many uh, retailers and buyers and the surge of orders that we experienced was i think uh, huge and if we have to talk about 2022 our business has been almost three times higher than an average business that we do in indian market globally it was the same but uh, specifically indian market uh, it was three times and our order backlog uh, really went up uh, like anything and of course uh, so we started also shipping out machines even though the market somehow started behaving bad from april onwards for our consumers uh, for our uh, you know end users but uh, still uh, you know people are not uh, deferring their plans so people who had already planned they want to go ahead because there is some kind of optimism somewhere they feel that market is there for next couple of years for india and they want to execute the plan so we are still shipping yeah i mean uh, you know recently reiter acquired uh, slaffors to binding machine and also along with that we uh, acquired ecotex and temco uh, now coming to winding machines why winding machines Uh, of course one reason was to you know complete the entire spinning system starting from blow room till winding and the second uh, second reason for this takeover as we you know understand from our management is that if at all we have to you know digitalize the complete spinning system you see today when it comes to machines and uh, technology the gap is reducing i mean the it's it's as i said it's very difficult to be a leader uh, but it's easy to you know follow through but this is something which will happen we can't avoid so we have certain other inherent strength apart from innovation leadership so what we are doing is uh, first is of course we try to innovate more and more uh basically we focus now not on bringing new machines but innovating the process second is you know it's not enough if you have machines you need a huge network of after sales service very strong backup uh, availability of uh, upgrades and spare parts i think reiter has been number one in this and if you see globally uh first customers priority is who can offer a service uh, you know to them because they can buy machines probably from anyone but somebody has to back them up so this is where we score very heavily and second is of course giving uh, you know kind of a consultancy services to our customer not in terms of uh, you know only how to run their machines but also in terms of where they should focus for example in today's exhibition we have been talking about spreading our you know awareness about recycling we are telling all our customers if you are not into this field start start with something basic because after couple of years this will become a you know need of the hour so that's how we are differentiating ourselves from this competition you know who are uh, just trying to bring machines which is similar to us yeah i mean you see we are focusing on the challenges so today uh, post consumer recycling there are several challenges pre consumer is fine everybody can do it now in post consumer first challenge is you open the post consumer garment or whatever it is then we do not know how to segregate we do not know how to segregate different raw materials we do not know how to segregate different colors now processing these fibers in a spinning machine to get a ring yarn with say 35 40% of recycled component is very tough 
people they have been successful uh, to achieve maybe 20 percent uh, today and that too with lots of difficulties so the existing spinning process may not work or it will not work we have to do adaptation this is where we come in yeah i mean it is beyond our expectation we uh, we had some reservations whether people will come of course there was no doubt about infrastructure we all know this is a very good place but there were some concern about approachability and itma in europe just six months away but uh, we were proven wrong i mean everyone came the technical level the management level everybody came and a very good feeling because people are not not uh, crying about the present situation yeah they mentioned that it is a tough situation but everybody is looking forward everybody is talking about what shall we do uh, so this is completely different from you know crisis which we faced in the past and uh, yeah i mean very good response very good footfalls and uh, i wish that you know uh, this exhibition happens this way every, every time huh? yeah since since reiter has already invested in india and we are couple of years here so we know the you know plus and minuses of being uh, operating in india and uh, we are also aware of government's initiative particularly make in india initiative and also the policies that they would like to bring probably from next year where even policy extends to textile machinery manufacturing so uh from the retail management side uh, they are watching they are taking all the feedback uh, because uh, if at all the policy comes the way uh, we are discussing today i think it's a great opportunity yeah i mean we when it comes to demand side we expect that uh, q1 uh, us demand will go up and uh, europe is a little bit uh, dicey but probably q3 europe will go up and uh, itma in the middle of the year could be a very good very good you know time and uh, to discuss uh, about new innovations